Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 29th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours of our sun. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with Daily Events Worldwide. We do have a CME on its way but no major solar flares hanging out in the C-class range right now. But big plasma filament to show you momentarily. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming. Active sunspot grouping there. Bright sunspot grouping. And as well, cresting into view. Some plasma filaments lifting from the surface. And then here, I'll watch on the right-hand side. You're going to see a big plasma filament rip away in the last few frames but we're going to get a closer look at it here momentarily. Let's have a look at the last 48 hours. Had a blast there. A little blast here cresting in. Very active region right here. Another blast. And then you've got solar plasma filaments around the north and south pole. And then the big plasma ejection here from the plasma filament that was connected to these sunspot regions. Big eruption there. And it did produce a CME, which we'll look at momentarily as well. Another amazing view of our sun here. Those are the plasma filaments that I've been watching and been worried about. There's also another one in the northern region. But very active sunspot grouping here. Going to be keeping an eye on that over the next couple days as we are Earth-facing. And right now, we have 12 sunspot regions to watch. 171 angstroms here. You can really see the heliosphere in action. Here's a look at our 12 sunspot regions. Most notable there, the groupings that are Earth-facing right now and as well cresting in pretty big sunspot regions. Look at these regions in motion. Two big black holes on our sun right now. Amazing images. And thank you for tuning in today. Don't forget to smash that like button. Current space weather conditions. We are under level one, minor geomagnetic storm impacts yesterday it was up into a level four range kp of eight solar winds right now are coming in at 423 kilometers per second that is down from last night solar x-ray flux as you can see in the c range moderate to strong c-class solar flares solar proton flux is low but look at the geomagnetic activity as it overnight last night hopped up to a kp8 level 4 geomagnetic storm which was forecasted here with daily events worldwide and even still here with the space weather prediction center these are the same cme models that i showed the other day so we were expecting either a glancing blow or full impact 28th into the 29th and it did start a little bit earlier it started Late on the 27th into the 28th. So throughout the day yesterday, we are going through this geomagnetic storm. Forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Current ISWA space prediction spiral showing most recent CME taking off from our sun. And that most likely is that big plasma filament eruption that I showed you earlier on. Little yellow circle there on the right hand side is Earth. Now let's have a look at Lasco. Lasco 3 showing the broad spectrum here of our sun and all of its activity for the past two days. And there's that large CME in the last few images from the plasma filament eruption. And we'll have to wait and see with full CME and space prediction spiral models here but it was in a southward fashion. Now let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours. Largest being the 6.1 here in 
Peru, the same place that the 7.2 magnitude earthquake struck yesterday. So aftershocks and strong aftershock there. Chile seeing a 5.2 just recently. 5.6 earthquake. Bouvet Island region east of the Scotia Plate. Big subduction zone there is South Sandwich Islands. And just east of there, a lot of uh, submarine volcanoes. 4.3 there reported Iran, Philippines, Indonesia. Very quiet place right now. Deep earthquake off the coast of Taiwan. Even Papua New Guinea. Pretty, very eerily quiet across the Pacific Plate considering the numbers. Deep earthquakes here in Fortuna and Wallace, Fiji. 4.5, 4.23 kilometer depth and as well a 556 kilometer depth. So that's the deepest the past 24 hours on our planet. Notable activity increasing in Hawaii at Pahala, Maui. And then uh, Kurilsk Islands, Russia, and as well Kamchatka. Notable activity through Alaska as well, Atka 5.0. Looking across the North American plate, not too much to talk about. No major swarms to talk about. 3.5 there, Barstow being the largest magnitude. But notable earthquake here, 3.4, Henderson, New York, Syracuse. 3.4 magnitude earthquake early this morning, about 3.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Columbia, pretty deep earthquake there, 4.3. Heads up, everybody. I think something still is brewing. Having a look at USGS, they're reporting 235 earthquakes, 24-hour period. And that is slightly up since this earth or space weather event started yesterday. Having a look here at USGS, exactly where this 3.4 earthquake was. It was in Lake Ontario, east part of Lake Ontario, and just the other day I was talking about the ancient fault zone that goes right through Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, through the St. Lawrence, and into the New Madrid. It's interesting that it's acting up now. Notable activity up into the West Coast, Pacific, Northwest, and as well California. Notable earthquake there, at Lake Tahoe. But I wanted to share here with you all of the tremors that are still going off. Last week when I showed you the all the tremors, there were about 9,000. They're showing 12,000 now in the last month. June 16th being the strongest day, reporting 683 tremors in that day. But just have a look at the coastline here. A different look here as the Canadian and U.S. border is right there. All those tremors right off the Juan de Fuca plate. And continuing. Having a look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Largest being the 7.2 earthquake that struck Peru. But lots of activity this week. Looks like a very busy planet right now. But this map and want to thank you all for watching if you are still watching thank you so much for tuning in please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoy the videos and the information shared here with daily events worldwide much love to everybody i appreciate your loyalty and patience as i am doing my best to give you the daily updates heads up all across the pacific rise now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by all of our volcanoes that are erupting around the planet and as well wildfires, nasty air quality being at the red areas, being the highest concentration. Most of this SO2 is from our volcanoes, which there are 48 of them active and erupting across the planet. Now let's have a look at weather, world weather, starting out here overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, some intense storms and typhoons forming all this week through China and up into Japan, both Koreas, and as well strong thunderstorm signatures all across Indonesia, Southeast Asia, and India this week. Very stormy conditions up into the Himalayas. 
in Mongolia. Long range forecast, pretty strong system there for Korea. Overlooking Europe, you have a low pressure system grinding through France right now, set to bring some extreme weather. Most of the systems will be scooting north and northeastward, though. Big high pressure ridge keeping things moving northward right now. Very strong high pressure in the Atlantic and as well the Pacific. Overlooking North America. Big high pressure there and as well for Ontario this week for a few days. Till finally another system here moves in from the, from the Pacific Ocean. Extreme weather through the United States. And as well, Tropical Storm Barrel, which most likely will be making landfall. But there is another one forming. So heads up, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.